Hey guys, just wanted to, if you just bear with me, I'm gonna wanna say a few words on a, you know, biblical versus spiritual. You know, you're probably not gonna like that title, but just a few things I wanted to share with you that uh, the Lord revealed to me. And just bear with me because this may take a while. If you want to live God's way, uh, God's way is God's Son. Uh, God's Son Jesus, and uh, you know, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. <coughs> you know, as disciples of um, Christ, as disciples of the Lord, uh, we are led by the Spirit of God. Uh, you know, Jesus is our rock. Uh, the Apostle Paul uh, was led by the Spirit of God. And uh, you know, when he was asked questions, uh, he was compelled to speak through the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, he didn't open a Bible, um, but even now, also his words are recorded in the Bible. But uh, you know, not everyone's testimony is written in the Bible, <clears throat> and I'm sure it was God's will for those words to be recorded. And, you know, there's a scripture that reads, uh, "Those who are led by the Spirit of God, those are the sons of God." When Paul was uh, converted, you know, when he um, saw the vision, you know, Jesus uh, no longer walked as a man in the flesh. You know, so this is a, a testimony of the risen Messiah that he's alive and that he is at the right hand of God with all power. Um, not the power of the Bible, but the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, the words of the Bible are the truth. But uh, it's not by mere words that we are saved. It is uh, by the power of the living God in, uh, in believing. You can read the Bible all day, but uh, until something happens in your heart, you cannot be transformed. It's by the power of God. I'll tell you about my granddad. My granddad has read the Bible for 40 years. But he has not understood it, not understood it, you know, he, he's um, full of his own crazy ideas. <clears throat> you, know, uh, he, you know, he doesn't know that Jesus is Lord. If you, uh, if you know the word of the Bible, if you've memorized it, you know, if you've read it, uh, that doesn't mean that you know Jesus. But if you know Jesus, then you know the word, because Jesus is the word. Uh, we need to know Jesus, you know, the, 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 uh, the disciples were not biblical, um, you know, because they lived by the voice of God, you know, the guidance of uh, the Lord, the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, it's not like they could have uh, opened the Bible and there would be a map where to go next, you know, the Lord told them, you know, the Holy Spirit guided them. And uh, yeah, we're all um, called by the Lord. You know, to preach the gospel to all nations, and you, know, you know, to be witnesses and to baptize. <clears throat> you know, it, it is written, and you know, we must obey these words. You know, my granddad, he doesn't know that Jesus is Lord. Uh, he doesn't know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. <clears throat> uh, he thinks he knows the way into heaven by himself. He thinks that he has worked it out in his own mind by himself. And it shows when you talk to him about it. And you know, it's, uh, it's written, and uh, Jesus said, uh, you know, you search the scriptures, uh, for, in the, for in them you think you have eternal life. And uh, he said that they are which, uh, which testify of me, but you will not come to me that you might have life. So, you know, he's just interpreting the scriptures for himself and not, you know, taking the, the words of the Lord literally and believing them. You know, he will not come to him so that he may have life. We can be uh, living testimonies in the present time, and uh, living, you know, living witnesses of, of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we can uh, we can be proof and, uh, and ambassadors of the Lord Jesus Christ, just like Paul was, you know, in his day, to those people that were with him in his day. Yes, we must obey the words of Jesus. And you, know, you know, just the other day, I, I was praying to the Lord and I was saying, you know, what, what must I do now, Lord, you know, and, and he reminded me, you know, his spirit reminded me, you know, to preach the gospel to everyone, and, uh, you know, this was his command, you know, 
you know, the scripture, you know, the gospel is uh, salvation unto man. And then we can receive the Holy Spirit and be led by it. In a sense, disciples are biblical uh, because, you know, the word is our judge. And uh, the words of Jesus are written in our hearts. And uh, the word is written in the Bible. And, uh, you know, but Jesus is the word. Uh, the Apostle Paul, you know, the disciples like the Apostle Paul, uh, they did not live by the Bible, but they, uh, they lived by the Spirit of God and, and by the Word of God. And, uh, so in that sense, you know, they, they were biblical because uh, the words of the Bible applied to them, uh, but not through a book, but rather through the Spirit. Jesus is the Word, you know, and uh, Jesus is alive. So the, and the Word is alive. Because Jesus is alive, and He is the Word. And um, the Word is alive in spirit, because Jesus is spirit. Uh, you know, the, the Word is not alive on paper. It's alive in spirit. Uh, you know, the Word is only alive to you if you know Jesus. Because then you and your soul are alive. And your soul can understand and hear it. Uh, if the word is dear to you, then you don't know Jesus. Just like my granddad, he doesn't know Jesus because the word is not alive to him, because he doesn't know Jesus. Uh, and your soul is dead. Either you are biblical and you have nothing outside of the Bible, and your soul is dead, or you know the word, which is Jesus, and your soul is alive. If there's someone that knows Jesus and is close to him and hears his voice every day, but let's say they have never read the Bible before, and um, you know Jesus shares wisdom with them and maybe they write it down and they remember it, um, chances are the things that Jesus shares with them are going to already be written in the Bible. So what does that tell us? That the Word is alive. It was alive then and it's alive now. You know, you know, the word is Jesus. So if you don't know Jesus, then you don't know the word. The Bible is words, but the life in the words is spiritual. You know, we are flesh, but our life, our eternal life is, is spiritual. The word is only alive to those who know Jesus. Those who have eternal life are disciples. Those who have eternal life are not biblical, but spiritual. They are not men of paper and words, but men of God and spirit. And they are not men of flesh, but men of God. They are not men of flesh, but men of God. Just like they are not men of words and paper, but men of spirit. If you read the Bible, you don't know that the Bible has life because you are biblical, but because you are spiritual. And you do not have life because you are a man of flesh, but because you are a man of God. We've got life in the first place because we are men from God. But if we want to keep our life, life eternal, then we need to be men of God in spirit. Because God is spirit. And uh, Jesus is alive. Jesus is the Word. Jesus is alive. And the Word is alive. Because Jesus is the Word. And our souls must be alive. Our spirits must be alive. To understand the Word. Our spirits, we must know Jesus to understand the word. And Jesus is the bread of life, the bread of eternal life. If we eat of this bread, then our souls will live. And they will hear the word, they will know the word, who is Jesus. It's true, you know, uh, Jesus has shared wisdom with me, which I had never read in the Bible before. But I had gone to the gospel later on and read it. And these are the exact words that Jesus has shared with me. Because, you know, Jesus is the Word and the Word is alive. Because Jesus is alive. See?
how did the disciples know what to do and where to go and who to speak to when Jesus was no longer walking in the flesh on the earth? It's because he was guided, they were guided by the Holy Spirit, by the Spirit of God. You know, um, and you can say, you know, there are disciples that are following Jesus, but there are, their life isn't, isn't written in the Bible. <coughs> they don't look at the Bible and say, oh, where's, where's my book? What's my next move that I need to read and I need to do? You know? Rather, we are guided by the Holy Spirit. And, you know, every step we take, we need Jesus. Jesus is alive. He guides us every day, every step we take. I hope you'll consider this. Um, because, you know, there is a difference between biblical and spiritual, most certainly. And, um, you know, we can say, you know, the disciples, they were not biblical, they were spiritual. You know? And they were led by the Spirit of God. They were not led by the Bible. But the Bible is the truth. And we must obey Jesus' words. Because Jesus is Lord and Jesus is alive and Jesus is our judge. <coughs> and if you know him, then you know that. No, so the Lord has um, shed some wisdom for me today and um, I hope that this will uh, shed some light. Because uh, there seems to be some uh, disagreements between you know, some brothers and sisters on the subject. So, uh, staying in Christ and be, be led by the Holy Spirit. Know Jesus and eat of his bread of, bread of life so that your soul may live, so that you may hear him because he is, you know, the word and the word is alive and Jesus is alive. We need to know Jesus. May Jesus bless you.